Hello and welcome. My name is Vicky Marie. I'm going to be taking you through a 10 minute home yoga practice. We're going to be starting in a child's pose today. So you may choose to come into traditional child's pose where the knees are closer together or a wide knee child's pose where the big toes meet behind. Regardless of which version, we're going to begin to melt the chest forward, hands coming forward. And just beginning to drop the forehead down towards the earth. If you'd like, you can make a pillow with your fists or your palms, or just letting the head come down. We're gonna take three deep breaths, inhaling through the nose, sighing through the mouth. When we're ready, we're going to begin to come into a tabletop position of all fours. So slowly lifting the gaze, hands out in front, and then we'll begin to bring the knees underneath the hips, making a box-like shape with the body. Wrists underneath the shoulders, starfish fingers. We're going to take a few rounds of cat-cow. On the exhale, we're tucking the chin in, rounding the spine, coming into your cat. Inhaling, coming into your cow. Lifting the gaze and the tailbone. And just moving between these two postures of cat-cow with your breath. Inhaling, cow. And then coming into your cow, we're going to linger here, pressing the earth away. Feeling the spine between the shoulder blades. And then slowly coming into a neutral tabletop. We're gonna to begin to come into a tiger. So you're gonna extend that left leg behind you, heel shining towards the back of the room. You can stay here with the left foot in contact with the earth or lifting that left leg from the hip. Again, staying here, taking that right arm in front. We're balancing on that left hand, right shin. As we exhale, we're gonna to begin to bend that left knee, right elbow coming towards each other. They might meet and hold. Inhaling, extending left leg, right hand. And they're going to begin to release that right hand. We're coming into a curtsy. So this left foot's going to go over towards the right, touching down to the earth. Gazing at your hands or over that right shoulder towards the left heel. Bring the gaze back to center, left foot back. And then we're releasing that left knee to the earth. We're going to take some hip circles. So those sit bones coming down towards the heels. And just circling the hips. And then we're going to come back to our neutral tabletop position of all fours. Beginning to extend that right leg behind you, toes in contact with the earth. And then lifting that leg from the hip. We can stay here, taking the balance a little bit further, left arm in front. As we exhale, we're taking elbow to knee. And then extending out. Left hand to the earth. We're going to take that curtsy on the other side. So that right foot's going over towards the left, taking the toes down, gazing towards the thumbs or over that left shoulder towards the right heel. And 
Bring the gaze back to center, right leg back. And then we're taking that right knee down to the earth. Taking those gentle hip circles. Slowly coming back to a tabletop position. We're going to be coming into a downward dog. So you're going to tuck the toes, maybe taking the hands a little bit further forward. We're making a V shape of the body. Belly button to the spine, begin lifting the knees, sending the sit bones up towards the ceiling, upside down V. Within your downward dog, you might bend one knee and then the other. And then settling into your downward dog. One more round of breath here. And then we begin to bring the gaze forward. We're going to be rippling into a plank pose. So coming up onto the balls of the feet, shifting the weight forward into your plank pose. Taking a round of breath here. Exhaling back to your downward dog. And coming up onto the balls of the feet, rippling the weight forward. Tabletop. Exhaling, downward dog. We're going to begin to come into a tabletop position of all fours, releasing the knees down to the earth. Untucking the toes, we're going to come into our child's pose. Sit bones coming down towards the heels. Hands can stay forward or again, you can make a pillow with the hands. Inhaling, we're coming up to kneeling, sitting on the heels for a moment, shoulders over the hips. So taking the hands back into our tabletop, we're going to be coming into Malasana Yogic Squawks. So you're going to tuck the toes, walking the hands towards the knees with the support of the hands lifting the knees from the earth. I'm going to change direction. So you might keep the hands in contact with the earth, or you might take the hands up onto the thighs, or maybe hands into the heart space. We're going to be here for a few rounds of breath. Again, making your choice with the hands. We're just stretching out the arches of the feet, finding our balance. And we bring the gaze up rather than the earth. Taking a few rounds of breath. If we've taken the hands to the heart, thighs. We're going to release them down. We're just going to slowly come down onto our knees, untucking the toes, coming into a kneeling position. If this is uncomfortable, coming into an easy seated position. And it's going to begin to circle at the waist. Hands can just be loose on the thighs or the knees if you're in a seated position. And then we're going to begin to go in the opposite direction. And then slowly coming to stillness. Inhaling the arms up overhead, palms might meet. On the exhale, bring the hands into the heart space. 
slowly bowing the head to the hands in gratitude for investing in your practice and gifting yourself 10 minutes. Thank you very much for sharing this practice with me. If you'd like to join me for other practices, check out the other videos on my channel, hit subscribe and like, and otherwise I will see you again soon.